Hi, this is going to be a general reading for um, the sign of Scorpio. Last but not least, Scorpio. I'm sorry, I'm cleaning up for my last reading. <clears throat> All right, how are you, Scorpio? So for those of you that don't know, I will be adding sexual energy reads on Patreon from... Um, Aries to Pisces. Now these are extremely racy. So if you are uncomfortable with sexual images and sexual, overly sexual stuff, <clears throat> um, and I'm talking really, really dirty sexual stuff, um, I have a deck called Filthy Fantasies. And it is very, very overtly sexual. Like, it's called Filthy Fantasies for a reason. <laughs> um, I mean, there's words like cock and stuff in there so if you're uncomfortable with stuff like that um then you know it's not for you but if you like that type of stuff then please join me on patreon because it's going to get down and dirty and wet baby and we're gonna have some fun okay so all right so let's let's go ahead and get right into it scorpio so I always like reading for Scorpio because it's my rising sign. Aquarius is my moon, but um, so I am a Leo, Sun, Aquarius, Moon, and um, Scorpio rising. Scorpio is my ascending rising. All right, sorry, that was icebox. <clears throat> All right, let's clear this energy. What you got for Scorpio now? What you know about Scorpio? Oof, that card flew out. Should we flip it? Knight of Cups. Okay. So there's an energy of a divine masculine, not quite to his full potential, but sort of slowly getting there. He's offer he wants to offer a cup. He's got a cup. He's riding in on his little white horse. The, this is the most romantic. Um, why did I roll my eyes like that? I'm so jaded. I'm like the most rom <laughs> the most romantic um, knight in the deck. There I go again. I can't stop. What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, if you're under 18, please don't watch me. I just said fuck and cock. I'm so sorry. I am a Scorpio rising. Can't you tell? Okay. We also have... Oh my god. What in the... I want to say fuck again. Okay, I'm just going to say it. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, see, if y'all don't think I'm authentic, I totally am. I say fuck so much. Okay, so we have Knight of Cups, we have Nine of Swords, and we have Eight of Wands. What in the actual hell is going on right now? And Four of Swords. There's a lot of swords and a lot of wands, and I don't understand what's going on. So, we're going to have to throw some Romance Angels on this. So, here's this energy of this Divine Masculine. He's coming with his cup. He's like, I'm ready for romance. <laughs> Wait, well, how's the song go? I'm in the mood for love simply because you're near me. <laughs> That's him, okay? And I hope the lighting's okay. My, okay, I, <laughs> I'm so shiny. I just put powder on. Okay. My energy's crazy. My child is sick. He had a fever. He's resting, but I'm exhausted. It's been a long week, you guys. I was traveling and then now we're home and my son, my oldest, has a fever. Um, and no, he does not have the C word. He does not have the, you know, the new virus, the COV. No, he has, he does have a virus though. Um, and so it's, it's very stressful. Okay, so we have nine of swords. We have eight of wands. So... This, I don't know why, but this energy of this divine masculine is causing you some anxiety, Scorpio. Feels like, once again, this, the mysterious Scorpios are not quite ready for love, okay? But I feel like very quickly, something is going to happen. You're going to have to get your shit together and decide what you want to do. Because you're in this really beautiful energy of sort of surrendering and loving yourself and meditating and resting and doing your thing and so this is bringing a lot of the divine masculine sniffing around they can smell that blood they're like sharks in the water 
All right, let's throw some romance angels on this. Ooh, we see we we. <clears throat> okay, what do we got for Scorpio? And for those of you that are just new to my channel, all of these readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading is when it's for you, okay? I know it's confusing because I do upload for the signs every month, but this is your story. If you found it, this is your story. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay? Because don't nobody find me by accident, boo-boo. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not this chick. Not this gal. No. Not this divine feminine goddess. Nope. You found me for a reason. All right. What do we got for Scorpio? This Your energy is very sticky. It feels very sticky. <laughs> Stick a spider web. What kind of web you stuck in, Scorpio? There's two cards. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. I hope y'all didn't see my butt. Do, 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 do. Okay. I don't know if we're going to take this card. We'll set it aside. It's wedding, by the way. Can we get two more cards for Scorpio, please? There we go. We have forgiving and learning, religious factors. So as you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you, it could be you're awakened, your partner is not. And it's influencing the way that you love each other. Well, let me tell you, when that sleeping bear wakes up, ooh, we, you better run. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun to shine. So we're doing some healing, Scorpio. This is a good thing. The healing journey never ends. Continue to heal. Religious factors. You know what? This feels very much like past life. Like in the past, you guys were not allowed to be together. There's a very feeling of like maybe they were... A priest or what are the I don't know the ones that can I okay I know pastors can can love right maybe it's a priest that can't I don't know the ones that say bless me father for I've sinned whatever <laughs> I don't know but maybe y'all couldn't love each other maybe in a past life you couldn't I don't know okay that's just the vibe I got from that it's gonna sound weird I know playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. It's it's a couple and they're on a swing. There's other swings I know about too. Did I just say that out loud? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's the type of energy Scorpio will be rolling with. <laughs> so, and then we got wedding. So I'm not sure if we're going to take that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that on the side. We're going to throw some light sears on it. I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me today. Reading out for Scorpio. It's probably because my child is sick and I'm tired and I'm just like fed up with life right now. I need a hug. Or some dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't with myself. I know. Just slap a sensor fucking bar on my mouth today. I cannot take myself. I'm sorry. Scorpio, I apologize. So many Scorpios are going to fucking unsubscribe now. They're like, this bitch. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God, you guys. You guys will probably like it. Scorpios are very sexual. We are. We are fucking so sexual. Okay. With the right people, anyways. All right. We need three final cards for our Scorpio for this deck. Oh, my gosh. So we have justice. Ooh, Scorpio, what have you been doing? Because either way, you're going to get what you deserve. Let's hope you've been doing really great things. This is also an energy of um, seeing yourself truly for who you are. Breaking out of your shell, so to speak. Getting out of your comfort zone. We have Nine of Pentacles. A lot of something. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Hmm. 
This is a whole lot of self-love. I feel like you're, you started a self-love journey. Oh, look at that energy. Let's get one more. It feels like you're just sitting pretty. That's why this, there's a, there's been a massive energy shift in your energy. It's like going from fucking, there you go. I just said it. It's like going from like 3D to like fucking 8D or something. Look, this is the old energy, old Scorpio energy. Bam, there's a rebirth. Look at that. Wow, it's a total, complete fucking upgrade. And then your energy shifts and all of this good shit starts coming in in regards to your love life. Look at that. It's like dream fulfilled um, because you're sitting here in this energy like, mm. wait, let me see if I can do it. Mm. I mean, look at her face. <laughs> She's just like, yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know I deserve that. Yes, I know I deserve that too. Yes, I know I deserve that and that and that and that and that, and that right? And look what came out next. The wheel. It is the wheel. Cycles ending, lessons, lessons learned, lady luck on your side. Your luck has shifted. There's those lucky dice around her neck. Luck be a lady tonight. And it is in your favor. Scorpio, what have you manifested? Because it is on its damn way. All right. Let's do the final three cards from this deck. And then we're going to do your spirit message. Whoo we. Yep. I think whether you meant to or not, you have manifested a wedding. Wedding bells. Final message for Scorpio. Thank you for allowing me to be the chair channel for source messages. Just rest a little. Eyes closed, resting. What do we got for Scorpio? Ooh, number four. This is the Emperor lead. I told you you manifested Big Daddy D. The biggest D on the block. <laughs> this could be your energy or your person's energy. Take it out, resonates. It's the Emperor. It's the, the the card of like Big King energy, Big D energy, Divine Masculine, Stability. Ooh, wee. The boss man has arrived. Ah! Oh. oh, I'm bending over and I don't like it. Okay. Now, if I was bending over for other reasons, then, you know. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. Somebody stop me. Okay. So, number four, it is the emperor. We have number one, base chakra. So, like I said, this energy right here is, is what's going to keep you stuck. It's self-sabotage, right? So, time to work on that root chakra and get to the base of that fear. Meditate on the color red. Wear the color red. Paint your lips red. Divine feminine Scorpios, okay? By the way, you know this is a scientific proven fact that red makes men's heart rate speed up. So, that was a weird sink for me. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. But anyways, red, the color red makes men's hearts heart beat speed up race, okay, in a good way. So, I don't know why that is, but if you don't believe me, look it up. So, meditate on the color red. And imagine it coming up from your feet all the way up to your knees. Last final message for our Scorpios, please. <sighs> I just got like super giddy all of a sudden. Like butterflies. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm done. All right. 19. Shine. <laughs> so, ooh, look at that illumination station coming out of her heart. We got to read this. 19 
It is, oh my God, it's a fucking sun. It's the happiest card in the deck. Affirmation for this card. I shine my light onto the world and joyfully attract all that I desire. I told you something had shifted. Lady Luck shifted. Bam. The happiest card in the deck besides the world card. Um, it's the sun. Oh, it's Leo. I mean, Leo's the sun, right? But, I mean, it's not just Leo energy. It's the sun. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's massive upgrades as well. Like I just said, massive upgrades. Look, you can't make it up. Bam. Let me upgrade you. Let me upgrade you. Ooh, honey. Or, you know, masculine. Whenever you start shining that light, they're going to flock to you like some seagulls. Like flies on shit. All right, let's do your spirit message. <laughs> Oh my God, sometimes I can't stand myself either. Scorpio, just get the hell out of my house. You know what? It's been a long time since I've said my catchphrase, so I'm going to say it. Scorpio, get, the, get out of my house. Peace out. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to do it. Okay, so um, final message for Scorpio. What is the spirit message for Scorpio? Our little stinger signs. Ooh, we. Scorpio is what water sign? Somebody told me that Scorpio is the fuck around and find out sign. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Like, okay. Oh, there's your card. I flew the fuck out. The Ice Queen. Oh Lord, if that don't if that don't speak of Scorpio energy, I don't know what it is. The Ice Queen. Ideas preserved. Non-action entitlement. Twenty-eight. Okay, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. 28. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement. Oh, no, she didn't. For your highest good. Of course. Let your ideas be preserved until later. You can thaw them out and use them at another time when they will best serve. The realm of the ice queen is a place of non-action. And now is the perfect time to take a look. To see how far you've come and to ask yourself for a re-clarification of your highest goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this moment. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on. Don't be too hasty in trying to reach your goal. An even better one will present itself. Oh, let's read it again. An even better one will present itself if you surrender and spend the winter with the ice queen. We're going to spend the winter with the ice queen. Ice queen. Hooty hoo. <laughs> ali ali accent free. Ice queen. <laughs> okay. Um, perhaps too. You're trying to do too many things at once. Oh, touche universe. Touche. Um, this is a good occasion to choose only one thing to focus on and let the ice queen put the others in the deep freeze until a more appropriate time. She'll let you know when it's time to let them thaw. When the ice queen comes to challenge you, she asks you to look at the illusion of ownership. Do you believe you truly own anything in this world? We don't. For example, do any of us really own land? Do we own ideas? Or is it that we simply laid claim to something we believe we're entitled to? Even inspiration is borrowed from spirit. This is true. And shared by all in the field of divine consciousness that permeates everything. Yes, we are all one. Others have thoughts of even your most ingenious ideas somewhere else in town. In, in town. <laughs> somewhere else in this town. Yes, that too. Somewhere else in time. And so what? It's not a big deal, right? Life incarnate is short. Did you hear that, Scorpio? Life incarnate is short. When you transition, you take... Oh my God, they said when you transition. I always say that when people die. I say they've transitioned. I don't say they die. I say, that's amazing. Oh, sorry. That felt right. <laughs> when you transition, you take nothing with you from the material world. The Ice Queen calls upon you to release your hold on your relationships, your belongings, your home, and all aspects of your life, and let life flow as it will. 
Everything is impermanent. Once you recognize that, everything is seen as a living miracle that it really is. And you won't be frozen into self-induced limitations. It's time to let go of ownership in general and be grateful for and enjoy what you've been gifted with. That's freaking beautiful. All right. So I told you about my Patreon and about the sexual energy reads that I will be doing from Aries to Pisces. They are extremely racy, extremely racy. It's called Filthy Fantasies for a Reason. There's all sorts of naughty sexual stuff. And, you know, it's going to get juicy, literally. So <laughs> if you want to join me on Patreon, you can. Um, if you hit the little upside down arrow that looks like big mouth eats big number. I know some of y'all learned that in elementary school. Big mouth eats big number. The denominator little symbol, it's upside down. <laughs> okay. Um, greater than, less than. That's what it looks like. All of my prices are there in my description box. So if you want to book a reading with me, you can. Please be patient. I get busy with clients, friends, whatever. I, what, I call them friends, but yeah, clients. And um, my Etsy shop's there. I have a Lemurian love deck that I have made. And if, if you've had past lives in Lemuria and mermaids, you'll love it. My jewelry's also there. It's all upcycled stuff. Um, what else? For those of you that have tipped me on my PayPal. So I have a new business PayPal. I, yes, I do. I do. It's, it's Chakra Bunny Tarot. You can tip me on there. Yay. Some of you already have. I'm so excited to introduce my new business PayPal. <laughs> All right. Thank you for every like, share, subscription. Hit the bell so you don't know, miss anything because YouTube will not give you every notification if you don't hit that bell. I love you so much. Scorpio. Bye.